Okay, uh, we said we're going to open it up. Uh, we're going to try to uh, uh, put a time limit on this, a total time limit, but we've got a time limit of one minute. I kind of like an open mic now. No, that's fine. I'm not a politician. I'm just a concerned citizen, so. We appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you guys. I know David is going to do everything he can to represent all of us to the best of his ability. And I, I trust him. He gave his word to us. So I'm not putting a whole lot of stock into the, the speakership vote because uh, there hasn't been a second ballot in uh, almost 100 years. So this is not something... We're all sort of prisoners of a world created to enslave our great-grandparents, and I'm tired of living in that world, and that's why I ran for Congress. Now, Marianne mentioned how David, you know, that's a slap in the face. Well, a real slap in the face is to be 42 years old, to work your ass off, to go to college and law school, and they have a congressional debate at your alma mater where you went for two years, where you played baseball and were on the Honor Society. And you're excluded from the debate because you didn't accept $50,000 to run for Congress. That is wrong. And I want to work with you, Marianne, and I want to work with you, Greg, to change this law so that the state TV board doesn't exclude me from the debates in two years. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Right? Anybody else? We hear, I hear anybody else tonight.